Hey, welcome to Sunday of sixth week. And we're making scones and we're making a mass amount of scones. There's a batch still in there as well because I have a mixer with Lineker. We're gonna do brunch style mimosas and that type of thing. So Klaus being very friendly and helping me out. Hey, so I've had the most ridiculous busy day today. So I started out this morning by baking around like 65 to 70 scones. I haven't really counted them, but I know how many I get out of a batch. So it should be around that number somewhere, which is absolutely ridiculous. So I baked close to 70 scones this morning together with Klaus and I took them to Lineker College for a brunch which was absolutely lovely. We got to meet some other people from different colleges. This was our first ever MCR mixer which is just really nice and afterwards I had to rush back here, change and go to the ice skating rink and this was my first time ever skating with the Oxford Ice Society and I was very happy to be able to do that. Hey so it's a couple of hours later and I have found out that in fact I have a little bit of a face burn especially if you look at this side um, this side of my face got quite, I'm not sure if it like shows up really well. Yeah you can you can see that I'm red but this face, this side is worse than that side um, yeah, I sat in the sun at Lineker, the weather was really nice and I essentially half of my face got burnt and I have some other weird patches on my leg of like sunburn. So these are my legs and this is my knee which has a very random sunburn on it. Also this part of my knee, it's not that I've set cross legged or anything, it's like literally a sunburn. A sunburn over here, like you can tell I sat like this in the sun. I'm going to sleep, I've been putting on after sun to make sure that the pain goes away because this is actually quite painful to be honest. Hey, so it is Monday today. It's nearly 5.30 so I have to head out to college. This morning I just worked on my dissertation. I really didn't do anything interesting. The weather outside is gorgeous. I just washed my hair. It probably will be dry by the time I get to college because I'm recycling and the weather is very hot outside. So I'm literally wearing a t-shirt and jean shorts. I'm just gonna enjoy myself. We have a steak and chips picnic in the quad tonight. I do have to go to St. or Tesco's first to grab some snacks for the MCR, which is like my forever thing. So I'm gonna do that now. So Tesco's was closed because it's a bank holiday. So I just managed to go to Sainsbury's and they just, they're smaller and they have less stuff. So I ended up with all these separate bags of crisps, but for once it's okay. Like I, I still got a decent amount of food. So that's a good thing. I, I do believe that they have like some very interesting things for like, you know, I think the thing in the back over here for um, gluten-free people is actually pretty nice. Hey, so it is 2 a.m. in the morning and I am heading off to bed essentially. Well, I'm, first I'm gonna make a pizza, then I'm going to bed. I, I am thinking that I'm going over my word limit. I'm trying to put in all of my secondary sources into my dissertation and then I'm gonna to head to the kitchen and break off a piece of my frozen pizza because you don't have to eat frozen pizza all at once you can just break up a piece and just have two slices you know I have just broken a piece of my frozen pizza as you can see I tend to keep the other half like in the plastic just to use the side of the table and I just like push down on it and hold the other one down and then you know I end up with a piece I grab the smallest one of the two because I'm not that hungry but I do like really feel like having a snack so I'm gonna pop that in the oven oven is warming up now and now I'm gonna put this back into the freezer. Good morning, folks. It is Tuesday today, and tonight I'm planning on submitting my dissertation draft. I'm not quite sure how that is going to look like, but I'm going to submit it anyway. So I might as well just try to get as far as I can because I still need to have, like get feedback in a specific time frame. So I will be doing that. It's currently around lunchtime, so I'm gonna pop the last quarter of my pizza into the oven. As you've seen, I sometimes break up uh, frozen pizza in little bits for like snacks and lunch because I do find it a little bit too big of a of a meal if that makes sense for like lunch or a pre going to bed snack. Hey it is 5 30 still in my room which is such a shame because it's 26 degrees outside 
Celsius, not Fahrenheit. Celsius is actually pretty warm. I'm going outside now. I'm going to pick up a book from the library. I booked a click and collect slot and reserved a book that I need for my dissertation. Fortunately, it's a library that's very close to my college. I'm just gonna park my bike near my college and then walk to the library and then walk over to college for barbecue because it's Tuesday, so we have barbecue. So I have my book, but picking it up was a military operation, like no joke. Hey, I made it back from dinner in college. We had barbecue. I have my book, which I picked up. So I will be looking at this book right now. I'll be spending the entire night essentially working on my dissertation. I want to submit my draft this night. Why am I not submitting it at a normal time of day? Simply because it doesn't really matter whether I submit it at 10 p.m. at night or 6 a.m. the following morning because in that space of time my professor is not going to look at my dissertation. I assume he's a grown-up and that he has a normal schedule of daytime and bedtime. So essentially I have this entire night to just work on it and get it to him and that would like save me another day of working and getting feedback a day early if that makes sense. I'll speak to you later when I feel like being done and handing it in which will be in like the next second which for me will be hours of stress later <laughs> i just opened my book and noticed this very like cute inside i didn't know that the taylor institution had like their own stickers that they paste in the books it's so much nicer than a stamp like oh my god i really like it i've i've had like books from them before but i've never i've never seen this before I know this, I'm just very excited about a sticker right now. And now I found this stamp that I was originally looking for, but that's like in the middle of my book in like, well, not in the middle, but it's on like page 15. Okay, I'm the happiest person right now. I found the name of the other author that I'm looking at in this book and I couldn't, I couldn't barely find anything on her, which is funny because this book is not about her, it's about two different other writers. So these are the writers that are writing my dissertation about and I found them in this book. This makes my day. And it is that time of night again, which is called 2 a.m. in the morning, knowing that you still have to go a while. So we have pizza, look at that. I'm gonna enjoy myself a little bit of pizza, do a little bit of chilling and then getting back to work. Good morning, it is 5 a.m. in the morning. I am still working, but as you can see, I can see the sunrise and the Barnabas church and the moon right there. It's a tiny little dot, it's still there. I'm still working on my dissertation. It's gonna be a long night. Good morning, it is Wednesday, it is bright and early, it's 8 a.m. in the morning and I'm going to bed. I have finally submitted my draft. I know it's a bit ridiculous to put an all-nighter for a draft, but I just really wanted to get it done as best as I could before Wednesday morning as I figure that it would be reasonable to get it back either on Friday or Monday, which would still give me plenty of time to correct it. That's why I did that. I am happy I did it. I am tired. I do have a meeting at 1.30, so I am gonna set an alarm at like 12 maybe. But yeah, I am off to sleep now. Hello, it is Thursday today. I am fully recharged. It's noon. I am heading on for lunch to college. I have to get dressed. Um, yeah, I really did not film a lot yesterday because I was incredibly tired. Hey, it is later in the day. I really didn't do much. I was planning on going to Bister to do some shopping and I didn't because the trains were not running back frequently enough for me to actually make it in time back for pub night because it's pub night tonight. I did manage to buy a puzzle because I really felt like making a puzzle. It's a thousand piece puzzle, it's a bit ridiculous. I just had today my day off. I'm like still sorting through a bunch of stuff and I need to clean up my room a bit, but I've been just been watching a movie and doing some puzzling, which is probably like not the standard thing I would do in the middle of writing a dissertation. I'm heading to the pub now. I actually did get my dissertation back this, no, yesterday night I got it back with feedback, which is really quickly. That's a massive, it's like serious quick turnaround for, for a dissertation, which is crazy. Tomorrow I have a meet up with him about my dissertation and tomorrow I'm also gonna pick up my stash. But first I'm gonna go <laughs> to the pub night.
Welcome to Friday. Yay, final day of the week. I didn't really sleep in, I don't know why. Anyways, I woke up this morning and I did some work on other things that I still needed to do or just like normal things in life, you know? And today I have a meeting with my supervisor, which is going to be my first ever in-person thing in Oxford. That's just absolutely crazy. So I am very excited to just dive into that this afternoon. But first I am gonna uh, grab lunch from college. I actually am not going to eat in because I do want to do want to do some different work alongside it. So I'm just going to go pick it up and then come back here. Otherwise, it's just going to be very um, stressful to make it all work. So I have picked up lunch. It became a bit of a mess on the way here, and I also have a sweaty banana right now, which is totally my fault because I all tossed it in this one basket thingy because I didn't have a bag on me, so there was no way for me to bring it home and except like carrying all the bits and bobs. Before I totally forget, when I was picking up lunch, I also ran into JCR because JCR did stash order and I picked up my rugby shirt. Look at that. And I'm playing rugby, but it's just, you know, stuff that people wear these days. So, and it got embroidered with my initials on there and the Regent's Park crest. So that's actually like really cool. It looks massive though, even though it's just a small, it's a men's small thing, but I'm very happy with it. Honestly, it looks great. So now I am heading off to Somerville College, going to visit a college and I'm going to have my dissertation supervising meeting in there, which I'm really excited for because it's going to be my first ever in-person teaching moment which is crazy. It's currently literally like Trinity term and I'm having my first ever in-person thing, but I look very much forward to it. But I have to like pack up my stuff and leave. I wanna be on time. So see you afterward. So this is Somerville College. wine stash and MCR and I know it's dark there aren't any light and they're not very well lit MCR this is what I just got from Sainsbury's so I'm just gonna you know kind of see what we have still left and what do we gonna have tonight oh, this is way better I didn't know I could light with my phone and film at the same time so this is the current MCR wine stash so yeah I still need to buy a bottle of Forge because that's always going very well and I noticed that I'm very low on white wine so I'm gonna bring the white wine that I have at home still which also belongs to MCR so I'm gonna bring that over I just couldn't carry it last time it was just too heavy so I've got all of that sorted and I'm off to Waitrose to buy some port because they don't really have any good port here at either Sainsbury's or Tesco. So I'm off to Waitrose and I know that they have one specific port on sale. So I'm going there right now. Back at the bike park, just got my port and now I'm heading up to home to wash my hair before heading to formal. Hey, so I have taken a shower and I've just brushed my hair and it's still wet. I don't like brushing my wet hair. I've always thought that like brushing your hair while it's wet is actually pretty bad for your hair but I didn't really have a choice but it does dry quicker if you do that so I try um it's not looking great but hopefully it gets dry soon because uh, I have to leave in about 15 minutes and I still wearing pjs so I have to do that now hey so this is the outfit for formal tonight wearing my gown like always like I have to wearing my stripy dress wearing these heels in such a long time I actually had to dust them off but yeah still the wet hair but we're going with it it's getting it's getting slowly drier and drier 